Whoa. All right, everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to look at Josh Jacobs for one last time. Uh, we're going to look at his rookie season highlights with the Raiders. First time I saw him was in the Combine. Then it was the draft. We've just watched his run up to the draft and to his first season, where he came from, his upbringing with his dad, five kids, extremely tough. He backed himself the whole way. He finally got noticed. He got picked up by Alabama, played three years there, and now he's playing for the Raiders. So, I haven't seen him play for the Raiders. I've seen a few, actually no. So far, all I've seen is his first game highlights. He scored two touchdowns. He got to keep the game ball. And uh, well now I wanna see if he's been balling out as much as he did in college. Because if it's anything close, you know, I'm expecting some Saquon Barkley type uh, runs here. So let's have a look at Josh Jacobs Raiders and see what comes up. Okay, so we've got week one, week five, week nine, week 10 by the NFL. Now th those videos are guaranteed to be, uh, oh, and week four. Okay, it looks like, it looks like he's got four or five different games um, worth of highlights here. Probably his four or five best games. And so they're the four or five games that we're gonna watch because we're gonna see absolutely everything he did, not just a few highlights here and there. So with that said, we've looked at week one. He got 103 total yards and two touchdowns. Now we're gonna to go to week number um, four. And then we've got week five, week nine, and week 10. Let's go week four against the Colts. Absolutely, I think it's only gotten bigger. Second down four, Jacobs is in, the rookie out of Alabama. That was his first run of the night. It's pretty good, man. <clears throat> He's got a nice cut. Nice step. See, and now when I'm watching these highlights, I'm always looking at the fullback because that was a position that I was suited up in when I went down to Melbourne. So I'm thinking, all right, so Jacobs is going to see that line, but is he going to divert off of that line when he sees an opening, or is he going to stay behind his fullback? Make good decisions. On the 24, Jacobs. Oh, he corkscrews his way. And corkscrews his way. Him, along with getting some help on that defensive line from Grover Stewart. Here are the first four times here this afternoon. 180! He's got the punt, first and 10. I'll be happy with that. Bit of fast feet. A couple of tackles broken. Oh, I'll be more happy with that. Really? Go, son. This is the NFL now. This is not college football, man. Yeah, nice block. Get through there. Look for the pass. Stay open. Stay alive. Bang off the right. Flip the ball into the other hand and try a stiff arm. Oh, and he bursts through. I love this commentator. Broken tackles! I actually love this guy. Fuck, he came through there like Adrian Peterson. First down. He's a first down machine. What? Is that it? Ah, come on, man. Going in numerical order here. We'll, let's go week five. Week five against the, the Bears. In London, believe it or not. Who was activated last night is starting. And Josh... They're playing on a soccer field. And they go to Jacobs, who'll have the first down as he crashes inside the Bear 30 yard line. Yards for a rookie in the league. Yeah, and Jacobs right here on the cutback. He just has that vision. He's got that sense of. So, I mean. We only, they didn't show his highlights of the second and third game, but he must have balled out as well because through four games, he's got the record for 
the most rushing yards as a rookie. And so we're in game number five now, and he's still keeping that up. And now he's scored a thousand yards this season. Well done. Talk to he wishes he had him on his defensive unit after the three yard game by Jacobs. And there is the swing pass to Josh Jacobs. I love that step, man. That first cut is, is nice. Very efficient. Lovely. Toss. Toss play. Spies a gap. Beautiful spin there. Cork throws his way down the line. Usually reliable Bears defense, and they run five times and pass for four occasions. What do we got? Twins left. Toss play. Spies a gap, and he's through. Prove little against this onslaught by the Raiders on this drive. You just watch the movement you get up front. Guys. I love that pass, man. That's, that's, it's like a rugby pass, isn't it? It's backwards. It's a little toss. It gives the running back time. It gives them space um, in the backfield to eye up what's happening. And that's exactly what he did. What did he do? On this drive. You just watch the movement. Right, he's got the ball here. He's looking up. He sees a C. He sees a C. He's got the ball here. He looks up. He's seeing the majority of the players heading to the left. Um, he is going to straighten up big time and cut right through. Let's have a look. You get up front. Got okay, so he still um, he let the blocks develop, um, and then he's swerved. I wouldn't say that's a cut. I'd say it's a swerve, 90 degrees up the field, where this massive gap has just opened. Guys on the ground. Guys getting to the second level. I mean, your running back has eight yards. There is Jacobs, and Jacobs will be seven about yards. Four no, yards four. short of the first down. Trubisky on the side. Third and of one. Dislocated left shoulder. Josh Jacobs, put your there. hand up. And they're going to run it. And, and he will. Josh Jacobs. And Jacobs will have a first down. An inspired team, no question. On first down, Josh Jacobs. He gets out to the 31-yard line. A gain of six on first down. Josh Jacobs. Straight ahead for the first down. Robinson's first touchdown catch and a first down. Now let's have a look at this line. They go to Jacobs. Good game by Jacobs of eight yards. So my question would be, what do the Raiders do now? Jacobs. And Jacobs with a good game. He's got no fear, man. Following the penalty. He goes in hard. Carr. With a screen pass, Jacobs trying to break the tackle. He is stopped at the 44. Second down and eight. That's a beautiful Carr, route. Completes it to Jacobs. And Jacobs will have a first down. <laughs> Got stopped, though. At the 23-yard line, and that may be the last play of the third quarter. Now the Raiders are on the three-yard line. It's time to shine, baby. Oh, beautiful run. They the needed those yards badly. Ah, oh, they needed those too. For a good gain of Fourth quarter. Five. Trying to come back. Need a touchdown. They need a touchdown big time. Come on, Jacobs. Jacobs breaking a couple of tackles and pretty good gain on that run. Tell me he scores like a touchdown to win. First, down First and 10, 2.40 to go. And off is to Jacobs. And Jacobs Ooh, picks three up yards. The leaping touchdown to win it. Possibly. Ah. Raiders lead. Oh, that's a Yamo B there up and over right there. And look at that. Welcome those. Minute to go. To London across the pond to see the Oakland Raiders. Trying to run out of victory here. Hey, that's nice. I like that one. Which one's next? What have we got here? Week number nine. Is that right? Week number nine? Against the Lions. Now, for whatever reason, I still don't hear anything about the Lions. Still. It's been almost two seasons I've followed this, and I've heard nothing of the Lions except for Barry Sanders. And, you know, I'll never forget him. He was probably the fourth or fifth player I ever reacted to, and it was recommended to me multiple, multiple times because people saw how much I loved juking and I loved, um, you know, speed and 
And there's nothing like Barry Sanders running at full speed with that canter that he had. You know, it was like a like an antelope or a gazelle or a train. Anyway, week number nine, Josh Jacobs against the Lions. Let's go. After the Lions, they've gotten into later territory, and here's a rookie, Jacobs. And what a start he is off to this year. That'll seven be yards. Well, call it a seven yard gain, and now Jacobs with. Oh, I like that. Good first down. Close to a first down. He's in from Kansas City in his ninth year. And this time it'll be Jacobs off to the right side. Breaks it outside and along the sideline. Stays in bounds. This line is so good. Now watch them. They'll change the line of scrimmage. The thing they do well is get on the double teams and change the line of scrimmage. Drive Look at that, man. That's, that's the thing. I'm... I'm Whenever I see the two lines, offensive and defensive line, come together, it's like, if the offensive line can get the advantage and start pushing them back, it just creates that much more room for the running back and for the quarterback. It's like, what do you do if your line is being over, overpowered? What do you do? You go to your passing game, I guess. But it doesn't make things easy, does it? And that's why these guys are so huge. The lines are so massive but they still work together just as much as any other player on the field. And Josh Jacobs, because of the sustaining blocks by the Raiders, Buffalo. It's hard to understand after catching almost 60 passes why Jones was sent out of Buffalo as a carry to Jacobs off the last side. Want to go back to that note I saw a moment ago. All right, Chris, I look forward to catching up with you throughout the afternoon on the first down. They give it to Jacobs. He's able to slip inside the town. Nice cuts. Jacobs once more, he'll have a first down, first and goal for the Raiders. First the down, that's what counts. Now it's a first and goal. And he's going to go leaping over the top. No, he's not. Didn't even get touched. He's got that threat of... First of all, he's jumping over. Back in his stance. That should tell them he's pulling. Now watch Richie here, incognito, pull and get enough of a block right there. Just enough of a knockback on Miles Killebrew. Sign him off the practice squad. And oh, there's big 64, eh? Putting in the block. So far this year, he's got company. He's huge. He's a first down carry up to the 40 yard line. Uh, we thank Dean Blandino. He'll be part of our broadcast team throughout the afternoon. Jacobs rips one off and still on his feet. Great player. Oh, Marcus. Uh, Jacobs again. Thought about going to the outside. Turns it back to the inside and makes it a four-yard pickup on first down. First down and goal. I like this. I like this. Oh, we got flattened, but it's all right. And a touchdown. What are, you, what are you doing up there, 45? It's almost like everybody needs one, right? He's going to attack. Ah, he's the fullback. The That's why. When you're chop and it was his. Yeah, it was his fucking. He can take credit for that, actually. Nice. That's big time momentum right there. After it looks like it's the first time I've seen the fullback and the tailback. Um, or is it halfback and tailback? The two backs, the blocker and the runner. Uh, celebrate together after scoring a touchdown. That's pretty damn cool. To punt it away. And no running room, or at least not much of it, for Jacobs on first down. Jacobs wrapped up. Because what I will say is when I had a very, very brief stint playing football down in Melbourne very recently, they put me in as the fullback. And I can confirm that the feeling you get of putting in a block and seeing a running back rush straight past you is almost as good as the feeling you get actually rushing the ball. Almost. At the 27, maybe the 27, 28 yard line by Christian Jones. Both their guards have been solid all year at Jackson and Incognito. There's an example of opening up a hole. They've had a hard time scoring points. The offense has moved the ball well. Oh, I mean, when you there's a little gap there. With Jacobs. And that's it. Okay. Last one. A minute 58, 101 total yards, one touchdown versus the Chargers. And the Chargers have one of my favorite receivers, which is Keenan Allen. Last video for today, guys. Let's get into it.
Oh, fullbacks there. Beautiful block by 45. They'd be happy with that. There he is. Brilliant start. Great sit down with Aaron before the game. Three tight ends in there, and they hand it to Jacobs. Nowhere to go. Where you going, man? And continues to impress. Carried by Jacobs. Changes course, and he's wrapped up. Instead of going the other way with the ball, they give up seven points. Raiders have there he is. Yards of now what are you going to do? First down. Go, Jacobs. Here's Jacobs now two Whenever he gets the ball out to the right or left as a receiver and he's got open space in front of him, I'm thinking, I'm so excited. You don't know what he's going to do. He's got the footwork. He's got the speed. You know, he can do anything. Get some blockers in front of him. He can probably score a touchdown. First down. He's taking control of this offense. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. That's all you want. You want him to run with purpose. Out of the backfield, Jacobs. Nice we'll do that. Kind of high stepping his way out there on the edge. A lot of people had him pegged to go in the third round of this year's draft. He gets it here, flag on the play. Packers on top of their division. Carolina looking up at New Orleans in the south. That should end quarter number three. Fourth quarter already. On first down, it's Jacobs. Solid five yards. Where's the fullback? You gonna follow him? Yes, he is. Oh yes! I think 45 deserves a touchdown. Another good block. Oh, fuck. It was a big hit, but it was a first down. Okay, guys. All right. That's it. That's it for today. Uh, Josh Jacobs, we have done. And uh, as I've mentioned, in the next one, we're going to do Hunter Renfro, as well as a whole heap of other players. But today was me just getting back into things. I've got a brand new uh, setting here. I'm back in my apartment. I'm feeling good. My daughters have actually just arrived. I'm going to look after them for a few hours um, and I'm going to have a great time. So have a fantastic day guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you one and all. Uh, if you do want to support Major Key Physiques, head to www.majorkeyphysiques.com and purchase yourself something. We've got free shipping worldwide. Not only that, but you can become a channel member here on uh, YouTube. And you can also go over to my Patreon, become a, a Patreon. You can also go to Twitch and become a subscriber there. So there's four ways that you guys can actually support me and the growth of this channel. And um, I appreciate every single one of you guys. So I'll see you next time. Peace out. You want to read a book? Come on then.